Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today our video about normal breast on ultrasound. The breast consists of a mixture of fibroglandular and fatty tissue. The glandular tissue is not evenly spread in the breast. Usually it is more pronounced in the upper lateral quadrant and it radiates from behind the nipple to more peripheral. The amount of glandular tissue responds to hormonal fluctuation and shows the changes during the menstrual cycle. The amount of glandular tissue decreases with age. Focal collections of glandular tissue may present as a lump because glandular tissue is more firm than the surrounding fatty tissue. In young women, this is a very common cause of an often painful lump in the breast. When we place a transducer on the breast, the first layer that we see is the skin with underneath a mixture of glandular and fatty tissue. The deepest layer is the chest wall with the pectoral muscle, the ribs and the intercostal muscles. Posterior or deeper to the ribs, no imaging is possible due to the absorption of the sound waves and this results in an artifact called posterior acoustic shadowing. This means that you can't look beyond the ribs and that posterior to the ribs, the image is black. The normal lungs are filled with air, which also reflect ultrasound waves. The anterior border of the lung produces a hyperechoic or white line, which moves as a result of normal breathing. The sound reflection of the air bubbles in the lungs produce what we call a dirty shadow. This is not as pronounced as in the ribs. Here we see a normal ultrasound image of the breast. The upper gray layer is the skin. Then there is a mixture of fat, dark or hypoechoic, and glandular tissue which is light gray or hyperechoic. The striped layer posterior to the breast tissue is the pectoral muscle. Posterior or deeper to the ribs, there is a black area or posterior shadowing. The lungs are the deepest visible layer. The air in the lungs reflect most of the sound waves, resulting in a bright or hyperechoic line with a dirty shadow posterior to it. Breast Composition With ultrasound, we can determine the composition of the breast. Homogeneous fibroglandular, heterogeneous tissue, or homogeneous fat. Notice that the mammographic and ultrasound images are very much alike. In young women, the breast mostly contain glandular tissue. This glandular tissue can be very pronounced during pregnancy and lactation and can show cyclic changes in premenopausal women, resulting in breasts that feel lumpy or painful. In older women, the glandular tissue is gradually replaced by fat, although some older women still may have a reasonable amount of glandular tissue. In adipose women, 
there is more fat in the breasts even in younger women. Near the midline, the ribs are only composed of cartilage and are not calcified. The cartilage doesn't produce a white echo on the anterior side or posterior shadowing. Instead, a hypocoic structure is seen anterior to the lungs. Don't mistake this structure for a breast tumor. At first glance, this may look like a fibroadenoma when you image the rib on cross-section. By turning the transducer, you will notice that it is a long structure connected to the calcified part of the rib. Within the same breast, there may be areas with more fatty tissue and areas with mostly glandular tissue, as we can see on the following video. When you look at the contour of the glandular tissue, you can imagine that the skin feel bumpy on palpation and sometimes give the impression of a mess when it is very pronounced. 